Now, the 10-minute drill. This is a big one. Brought to you by Universal Roof and Contracting. The difference is universal on 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, Sports Concepts and Rationalizations. We'll kick them around right here, right now. And at the end of the drill, uh, Beef, what are we handing out today? Uh, we're hooking one lucky Guggen up at the end of the 10-minute drill with a pair of tickets to Jags Falcons next week. Mm-hmm. And that comes complete with passes to the public's ultimate tailgate party presented by Party Shack. All right, well, that'll be good. Or the Jags Chiefs tickets. When are we giving those out? Next week? <laughs> I got those up on eBay. By the way, our drill poll question of the day presented by Lockett Law, DUI, and Criminal Defense. Know before you blow, call Lee Lockett, 858-9818. We'll start the 10-minute drill off with this question, Jeff. Who's the most important person for Florida in their quest to beat Miami? Is it Dan Mullen and his play calling? Is it uh, uh, C.J. Henderson, the best on the team? Is it uh, Felipe Franks, who must continue his end-of-year play? Or is it Grantham, who will try to rattle the young quarterback? Who would you pick? Uh, this is an easy one. Uh, okay. Both me and 80% of Guga Nation will say Felipe Franks. Mm. You are close to being correct. 66% of you, though, are saying, Felipe Frank, you can vote at Dan Hickett if you would like. Yeah. I mean, you have expectations. Obviously, any coach has to have a good game and a good game plan, whether it's mm-hmm. offensive or defensive. But I, especially since, you know, Frank's finished so strong, yet there's not total belief in him, right? That, that, correct. That makes you well, want to watch him even more. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Uh, let's get going here with some of Jaguars' takes. Um, look. We've heard criticisms of Blake Bortles for sure. But did we ever hear that he didn't prepare enough? No, they the, the picture was painted that he was a hard worker. Jack Del Rio yesterday beef on XL Primetime. Mm-hmm. Jack Del Rio was asked about the differences between Nick Foles and Blake Bortles, and obviously there are, are plenty of them, and he wasn't necessarily uh, pointed or or condemning in his in his evaluation of of Bortles, but he did kind of insinuate what I just asked you about. Here's uh, Del Rio yesterday here on 1010XL. It's an upgrade in that uh, you're hoping that Nick comes in and protects the football better. I think that that was Blake's biggest problem is he just turned the ball over too often. You know, there were, there were all, there were always stories coming out of there about, you know, the way he prepared or didn't prepare and took care of himself or didn't take care of himself and all that kind of stuff. Well, Take care of himself. Didn't take care of himself. Yes. Prepare. No. At least from what I can tell yeah. now. Uh, Jack has more friends, more uh, people inside the building, I would suspect. And, and so, um, and he certainly turned the ball over 75 career interceptions. And that doesn't even count all the fumbles. So, uh, we know all about that with Bortles. So, um, look, the bottom line is it's, uh, and the proof is in the pudding. We'll see. We'll see starting in September what Nick Foles can do. We'll like the quarterback out. play will be better. Yeah. That's almost that's that's almost not even an opinion. Yeah. And he um shoot uh yesterday uh DD Westbrook said obviously Nick Foles is yeah, what he's we a need friend of mine, him. but yeah, it's no nice offense to, have, to Blake. Well, yeah. it is offense to Blake, but yeah, you're right. Well, yeah. Yeah. And Blake Bortles is a backup quarterback. I mean, Correct. let's get well, He's Blaine Gabbert. I mean, let's not – I'm not trying to pile on. You know on what? That's funny me. you brought just, that up. He is. I mean, I, I, he's I, not going to start again. A, a year in L.A. is not going to turn him around. Look, guys, 13, 16, 16, 16, 12. Those are the number of games he started. 73 career games. You can get – you can see enough in 73 lot, career games. 20 more than Nick Foles, so that shows yeah. you. Yeah, 73 career games. He's got an 80 rating. His rating was – 69, then 88, and we were excited. Then it dropped to 78, and right there we should have been, uh uh-oh. Then it went back to 84, and then it went back down to 79. He's an 80-rating quarterback in a day and age where you got to be 90, at least. So uh, 55, 51, 34, 24, 31 sacks the last three years, not as bad. Um, Yeah, Blake is Blake. You know where uh, our boy Gabbert is this year? Yeah, he's in Tampa. Yeah, Tampa. Right, yeah. I have a question for you. By the way, and Sin- again, how many places has he been? Phoenix, uh, Tennessee, Tampa, San Fran. That's it. That's four other teams yeah. in, since he left here. That's what Blake's going to do. Well, I, here's a question for you. Uh-huh. Since he left Jacksonville. Right. Blaine Gabbert has thrown for... F- 5,000 yards. Okay. Will Blake Bortles throw for 5,000 yards the rest of his career? Which which player will have more passing yards post-Jags' career, Gabbert uh, or Bortles? Bortles. 
More than 5,000 yards. Yes. That's a lot. That means you're going to be starting a couple of years. Well, no, 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 no. That means he'll be in some Gabbert-like situations where he'll get to play a little bit. How many years has Gabbert been playing? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So basically 1,000 a year. Yeah. Including yeah. one year with only 38 yards. He had 38, and then uh, for San... But he's never played more than eight games in a year. San Francisco, when you're at 2,031, another yeah. 925. Arizona, 1,086. Yeah. Uh, rating every year, just, you know... I mean, you got to understand. Or the Midland. They're the same di- guy. They're, yeah, it's a different day and age, too. In other words, this is why I would always argue with, with uh, as much as I love him, Gus Bradley and his uh, prospects to coach again. You can't sell that to your fan base. You can't sell that one loss record no matter what. So, And, and I don't think you're going to be able to sell Blake Bortles to a fan base. This is going to be our quarterback. Who's going to sign him to be their starting quarterback? I know. I'm not trying to be mean he or pile well, out. Here's a, well, you, the point that you hit on is, is – the most valid and fair one. Blake Bortles is what he is. There's not going to be any improvement at this stage. Oh. If they, they've had, they've poured every energy into improving Blake sure. Bortles to be the best he can be. He is not going to be anything more than what he was here in Jacksonville. And if it, it wasn't good enough here, it's going to be, like you said, a tough sell. But I, I just meant, you know, more hearing that was a little bit different before, you know, more than, you know, banging on, on Bortles here for um, a segment. I, I, I was surprised, and I do, quite frankly, I don't understand this. Mm-hmm. But Jason Lacanfora, noted a Jag hater and, <laughs> and fact error machine, uh, the guy who said that Tom Coughlin will be coaching the Jags this year, he said that. You know, he can, he can tone it back, soften it up, but yeah. last year, about December, he basically said Coughlin's going to come down and coach the team, which yeah. was just so, you know, ridiculous. You can call it whatever you want to call it. I call it reporting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We call it speculating. And poor, poor speculation at that. But never mind that. He has a column on CBS, and it and it basically breaks the league into haves and haves nots um, to a degree, but the upper and lower extremes. Okay. He he listed eight teams that can win it all. Okay. And eight teams that will finish as the bottom eight teams in the league. All right. Have you seen this list yet? No. First. Bush, are the Jags on either list? Um, probably not. They're not. Yeah. Now, is there any line of thought? Mm-hmm. Is there any part of you mm-hmm. that feels that the Houston Texans could be one of the worst eight teams in the league? No. Me either. So noted Jag hater Jason Lacan for is now officially mm-hmm. we're gonna we're gonna cut him loose. Take him off the stringer and let him swim over to noted Texans hater Jason Lock on four, right. who says the Texans, along with the Titans, by the way, two from the South, will be among the eight worst teams in the league. Wow! I don't get people. Deshaun Watson is awesome, and I would suspect is going to continue to get better for a few years. Yeah. I kind of think you're a liar, Jason Lock on four. <laughs> I kind of think you're a hack. Okay. Yeah, I don't get it either. So, I, I don't know anyone who is counting on Houston to go. Now, if I ask you who are eight bottom feeders uh, right now, you might have a hard time coming up with eight. Well, I can if agree. If the with... assignment is, Jeff, tell me the eight teams that are going to be the worst in the NFL, the eight teams picking in the okay. draft, All right. who would you say? That's a good question. Because I I, I would say. Um, I'd give you the I, Dolphins. Yeah, I, would, I would definitely go. Let me. Just I'd go. probably give you the Bengals. Me too. And he's got both of them. I'd probably give you the. I'm not sold on. Uh, Listen, fairly, fair is fair. If I'm naming yeah. an AFC South team, I got to go with ours. Oh, sure. You know, I don't. I wouldn't put them in there. I don't want to think they are. Yeah. I would never do that. But to put two AFC South teams as the bottom eight. Yeah, I don't Again, know. Again, I've only given you I, two. I got six. I know. More to go. I, I, I don't. Who are you giving me? I, I, well, you know what I would do. I wouldn't write a column where I'm forced. <laughs> That's right. Right to 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 force in answers. Yeah. I would give you the Redskins and Giants. Uh huh. Um. And maybe the Cardinals. I don't think there's eight that can't win it. Yeah. You know, there's usually only a couple that can't win yeah. it. And some of those that we just mentioned might not be on the mm-hmm. absolutely can't win it list. Yeah, I would tend all to right. tend to agree, but that's that's uh yeah, is what it is. So uh all right, we gotta move. Let's do caller number two right now at six four one ten ten, six four one ten ten. Uh you wanna go see the Jags and the Falcons? Uh, and what else is included in that beef? Yeah, they're getting a pair of duckets to go see the Jags and the Dirty Birds uh, next week down at TIAA Bank Field. And along with that, they'll get access to the public's 
Ultimate Tailgate Party presented by Party Shack. All right, back with more after this.